What's up interweb, Rykwin here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very very special top 10 and this is to celebrate one year on YouTube. Now, it's been a crazy year, absolutely crazy crazy year and uh, I can't thank you guys enough. It's been absolutely an incredible ride so far, which doesn't, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Uh, so it's been absolutely amazing and what I'm going to bring you guys today is a top 10 showing you guys my top 10 favorite moments from the channel, from its existence, from May the 28th last year to May the 28th this year. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it's been very hard to pick 10 specific things, although a lot of them really aren't specific because I couldn't pick specific things. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this top 10 and I just want to say that I really hope that I carry this on for future years. Uh, I really want to keep this going. I don't think I've enjoyed anything as much in my life as YouTube and you guys have completely changed my life. Uh, I don't want to get too emotional right now, but you guys have completely, completely changed my life and I can't thank you guys enough. So, thank you. As a way of saying thanks, I want to look back at some of the highlights from this year and I hope you guys enjoy. Number 10. Right, so kicking off the list in number 10, we have getting my very first subscriber. Yes, I still remember you, Michael Byrne. Thank you for being my very first subscriber. You changed my whole mindset. Seeing someone actually enjoy my videos, it was it was pretty crazy. Uh, I'd never experienced anything like it before, and it was one of the greatest feelings in the world. And it just drove me to persevere to get that feeling again and again and again. And that is why getting my very first subscriber ranks at number 10. Number 9. And number 9, we have one that's actually really similar to the last one, which is hitting 100 subscribers. And getting 100 subscribers was a huge milestone for me. And again, it changed my mindset completely. This was the time when YouTube changed from being just some hobby into a full-blown commitment. Uh, it made me rethink. And I thought, hmm, maybe this is something I should really pursue. And god, I'm so happy I did. Um, that is why hitting 100 subscribers ranks at number 9. Number 8! Now we move on to a more recent event. Uh, Jordina's being the absolute legend that he is sent me his capture card for me to use. And I feel like I've barely scratched the surface with what I can do with this, but in time I'll be able to use its full potential with streams and loads of fun content. Uh, I was like a kid in a candy shop when I got it and that excitement still carries on now. And uh, that's why getting a capture card ranks at number 8. Number 7! Number 7 is a video that went up on my birthday last year in August. Uh, that video was Rye Q&A Episode 1. And at the time I must have been around 70-ish subscribers and I decided as a birthday special I'd do a Q&A. Uh, I wasn't expecting that many questions, it was just a little fun idea, I expected some dumb questions from my friends. Uh, I did indeed get dumb questions from my friends, but I also got over 50 questions which absolutely blew me away. Uh, to have that many questions from a range of people too, it was mind-boggling. Uh, it was overwhelming, and what I thought would be a quick 5 minute video turned into a 25 minute video of me answering all these questions. Uh, it, it was great, and Rai Q&A will return on my birthday this year, so get hyped for that. And uh, that's why Rai Q&A episode number 1 ranks at number 7. Number 6! Now, this one technically isn't a YouTube moment at all, or even a specific moment, uh, so it's a bit of a cop-out, but one of my favourite things from this year is streaming. Uh, I don't think I could pick one specific moment, but every stream I've done has just been amazing. Showdown, Pokédraw, team building, and most recently, Auras viewer battles and completing the National Pokédex. Uh, Fire Emblem as well, it's going to be starting very soon. Uh, the interaction I get with people on streams is just unrivaled, and streaming makes me feel so happy. I feel like I can just be myself around you guys, and it seems like you guys enjoy that side of me too. And uh, that is why streaming on Twitch comes in at number 6. Number 5! Another recent milestone comes in at number 5, and that's being recruited as a GBA analyst for Season 4. And I was a huge fan of the GBA ever since the D-League, and when Season 3 rolled around, my god I was so into it. 
Uh, I cleared all my plans for every Sunday to watch all the GBA matches. So when it collapsed, I was I was distraught. Like I was really upset. Uh, so imagine my excitement when I hear it's coming back. I, I got so hyped. I was like, yes, finally I'm going to be able to watch GBA matches again. And then imagine my excitement when Mighty Mamoswine asked if I'd like to be an analyst for the season. Uh, and it's been amazing so far. The feedback we get on videos has been incredible. And it's been such an honor to contribute to the channel. And that's why being an analyst for Season 4 of the GBA ranks at number 5. Number 4! Yep, it's here. Season 2 of the Rykwiz. And there's a reason I picked Season 2 over Season 1. Season 1 was incredible, and the amount of support I received from it is absolutely insane. So when Season 1 ended, the hype was built so much for Season 2. I was so excited to start it, and when I did, people loved it. I loved it. It was amazing. It exceeded all my expectations. I got guests on it that I didn't think I would. Even people I was huge fans of, like Mega Mogwai and Fufu. Season 2 had to take a break, but it has returned now my headset's back. And it is going to be bigger and better and stronger than ever. Season 2 is going to end very soon, and I am so excited to conclude Season 2. And that is why Season 2 of the Rykwiz ranks at number 4. Number 3! Here we are with the bronze medal, and this is a good one. Picking these top three was extremely difficult, and they could really be in any order. But in number three, we have the Pokemon Premier League. Now, the Pokemon Premier League is something I was so excited to be a part of, and I always work my hardest to make sure everything runs smoothly. Because when it does, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite thing to do. Whether it be team building, or being in a PPL Skype call, theory modding with other PPL coaches, playing cards against humanity, everything. Being a part of the PPL and meeting so many amazing people has been such an experience for me and one that I hope can only continue into the future. And that's why the PPL ranks in at number three. Number two! Ah, uh, finally. Here it is. The Battle Subway. I'm going to try and not be too emotional about this one, but I, I make no promises. Uh, for those of you unaware, the Battle Subway was a collaboration channel between myself, Layson MC, Youngster Joey, Bits, Jordines, and initially u turn Crobat with the addition of Amazian Tay after a couple of months as well. Uh, being a part of the Subway was my favorite time on YouTube so far. Uh, there was a Skype call between us every single day, and when there wasn't, it was a strange feeling. Like, the day wasn't complete without talking to these guys. Uh, we all became best friends, and I can never thank Youngster Joey enough for sending out that initial tweet and making this happen. Um, I will never, ever forget the time we had in the subway. It was incredible. Uh, I've made lifelong friends in the subway, and that's something you can never, ever take away. And that is why the Battle Subway ranks in at number two. Number one! So what can top my best time on YouTube? I present to you the biggest cop-out answer of all cop-out answers. My number one moment on my channel is not a moment, but is being part of the Pokemon community. Yep, go ahead, boo me all you like. This is my number one answer. And th being a part of the community, this includes interacting with people through comments or through tweets, Instagram photos, it includes being in Skype calls, chatting to people on stream, commenting and tweeting other people, hanging in other people's streams, everything. Uh, the amount of people I've met through doing the Rykwiz and just generally being a part of the community is absolutely ridiculous and I can't thank any of you enough for making this experience the best thing in my life. That is no exaggeration. If the community wasn't so welcoming and made me feel so included, I wouldn't still be doing videos. It's the community that drives me and motivates me to keep going. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Anytime I'm feeling down, I'll speak to people on Twitter, I'll speak to my friends on Skype and suddenly everything's better. You guys are always there to pick me up when I'm feeling down and without your support, Rykwin wouldn't exist. So thank you. Each and every one of you. You guys mean the world to me, and by far the easiest choice for me 
is ranking being a part of the Pokemon community at number one in my top 10 favorite moments on my channel. So, this is one year on YouTube, and uh, let's just hope there are many more to come. Uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, and I hope you guys are ready for me to take it up a notch. Because now, it's serious. Believe me. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon for my very first video in my second year on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I haven't made it too emotional, and I'll see you guys soon. Toodle. Singing on Skype does not work at all.